Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, one myth that is being perpetrated here in America is that the wealthiest people are rich because they're smarter than everybody else. Well, let's take one example. George W. Bush is rich. Do any of you think that W. is smarter than you are? As a matter of fact, the universal consent consensus is that he's dumb as a post. Paris Hilton is rich. Doesn't seem to be all that smart. If these people have been born into poor families, I don't see them working their way up out of the ghetto. They'd have been born poor, they would have stayed poor. Another example is the, uh, another example of a myth is that the rich work harder than everybody else. Spend a day watching a nurse. If you believe that a CEO works harder than any nurse, then you're an absolute fool. Go into McDonald's at lunchtime and watch them push out their burgers and fries and I guarantee that you, if you watch the CEO of that, of of uh, McDonald's, you'll come to the conclusion that the people on the front lines are working way harder than that CEO is. Remember when the GOP got on that we built it kick? Here's a fact. Every single one of the fat cats that they brought out to proclaim how they built their businesses all by themselves had received some kind of government subsidy. And some of those fat cats are still sponging off the government today. Most of them are. Which leads me to this. Some of these same fat cats spent and are still spending hundreds of thousands of dollars lobbying against the extension of unemployment benefits, raising the minimum wage, and they also lobbied for cuts in the food stamp program. And now none of these things would have had any effect on those rich people. Raising the minimum wage would have minimal effect on on rich people and yet they lobbied against it not because it would be harmful to them but simply out of meanness and spite the irony is is that the US spends about eight times as much money on corporate welfare as it does on poverty programs so the people who are the, the real welfare queens are lobbying against helping the poor and we spend way more money helping the rich than we do helping the poor. So you want to get rid of the deficit? First you eliminate corporate welfare. Then you get rid of all the the tax loopholes that benefit the rich and tax the income that the rich make at the same rate as the income that the middle class and the poor do. We not only have a surplus, we get our debt paid off in no time. Thanks for listening.